Irvine-based Broadcom Corporation is one of the largest semiconductor companies in the world. In 2007, its sales approached $4 billion, and Broadcom grew into this behemoth in less than 20 years. But over the last few months, the company has been under intense scrutiny by the federal authorities. Last month, the company settled a lawsuit with the Securities and Exchange Commission for illegally backdating stock options. This month, one of its co-founders, Henry Nicholas, was indicted for securities fraud and drug distribution. And this week, the other co-founder, Henry Samueli, pled guilty for lying to the SEC about backdating employee stock option grants. Under the plea agreement, Samueli will pay $12 million in fines and serve five years probation. He will not serve any time in jail. Neither the prosecutor nor the defense would speak after Samueli entered his plea in a federal court in Santa Ana. Samueli and his attorney quickly drove off. Now, after digesting the specific terms of the plea deal, at least two criminal law experts thought that Samueli received an exceedingly favorable disposition in this matter. He has to pay a fine that is a pittance for a man like him. Aside from that, he receives probation and doesn't even have to testify or assist in the ongoing investigation. This sort of large-scale investigation involving the SEC you will frequently see a demand for jail times. And it's a little surprising that, he, that the prosecutors agreed to no jail time. Henry Samueli will be formally sentenced on August 18th. In Santa Ana, I'm Brad Pomerantz, Daybreak OC.